Hello everybody, welcome back to RC on Track. Rear differential replacement for Red Cat Blackout. Um, the pinion gear in this rear end went out. We replaced the spur gear, replaced the motor. Extensive time on the video, sorry about that. So today I went ahead and tore apart the um, rear end a little bit. Got the A-arms, Pitman arms, shock tower mount all disconnected. Now it's time to start getting the rear end out of the car. Um, got to take the keeper screw off of the drive shaft. You got to take the four bolts off the bottom of the chassis. Um, I, if you watch my other video on the Red Cat Blackout, you'll see the complete teardown of the rear end of this car. Right now we're going to go ahead and start taking down um, the rest of it. We have our replacement rear end right here. Thank God. And this is what it looks like. Brand spanking new. So we're going to be taking these four bolts out and the, the components that keep it attached to the car. Um, spur gear. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and take this thing apart real quick. Alright, so I'm taking this, you have a little keeper screw that holds on to your output shaft here. There's a keeper screw that you got to take out and it should slide on back. And then we'll flip. Got our far bottom bolts. I'll try to make this fast as I can. So, and I'm not gonna do the whole rebuild on this rear end. Um, because I'm just gonna save you guys a bunch of time. So RC cars are fun. They're they're actually stupid easy to work on. Um just the mounting of the parts sometimes you have to dig uh it's not a big deal if you're familiar with it if you're not familiar with it watch my first video and it'll show you the tear down all the way um this one is just putting in this and then um that'll be it I had fun out this weekend with uh, the family. Actually, middle of the week for us. Um, shredded the T-Max. I saw this guy stampede. Oh, man. You want to talk about a tire swelling car? The thing was stupid fast. I didn't get all the details from his build. Um, maybe one of my next trips out to the Van Dusen River, I will stop him and... Um, get the details on his build. Okay, it should slide out. Oh, and it did. And then the part that I took the keeper off fell off, unfortunately. That was not a cool thing to have happen just now. So I have to take the cross member out, you guys. Um, I thought I had cheated a little bit, and it just failed. So you take your cross member plate out as well. To uh, work on this. Because if you don't, you'll have to go fishing just like I am. For. I want to call it the U joint because I'm an auto mechanic guy. It's the dog bone receiver. That's what it's called, I guess. The drive shaft dog bone receiver. If I'm wrong, message me. Knowledge is power, so if, you, if I'm wrong, you guys can give me a little knowledge on what that's actually called. All the obtained amount of years of RC and you be amazed at what some of these parts are actually called. You're like, what? Why they call it that? I 
want to put some metal rims on the Traxxas uh, T-Max I got. The plastic 12 millimeter freaking broke and shredded out the inside of the of the rim there and so it started slipping um so if you guys know of any aluminum sets i'd i'd like to hear about it <clears throat> basically anything aluminum for the t-max i'd like to hear about because the problem i'm running into is all the plastic stuff starting to shatter off um, I'm replacing plastics with RPM plastics, but I'd really like to go completely aluminum on my build. Like, no plastic whatsoever. So, you guys hit me up and let me know what's up out there. I'd appreciate that. Um, we took the WL Toys rock crawler out. Yeah, didn't really get good videos of it. The... <sighs> time crunch we had we we're leaving the swimmers delight campground and so we just threw the car out and literally walked out the side of the truck and went and hit up a couple of things so i'll post those videos as well um the crawlers it, it's a fun little crawler um it will if you get meticulous and actually sit down and spend some time with it it will go over rocks and stuff you know and we just we didn't have the time left to shoot a video, so we did a quick, quick little video of it. Um, two of them. I'll go ahead and post both of. Them. Eh, I'll pick through the two and post one of them. All right, so we got the saw opened up. <clears throat> so I got dirt inside here where the uh, rear differential is going to go in. So I'm definitely going to clean that out real quick, so it'll sit in there and. and um, the term Mary to the to the chassis, you know, make sure it goes in there nice and solid and not all crooked and stuff. And it's, I mean, I, I bought this car used off of eBay, got it on a really good deal, really good bargain. Um, shipping was like 14 bucks and I got it for, I believe... about sixty dollars under brand new um did have a problem so i'm saying i sit, still saved forty dollars um on this car the motor i got right here came out of another car so didn't lose no money there other than the other car is getting uh the brushless kit put in it in the next couple of days here it should be in and so is our WL Toys Desert Buggy. That thing is just really good. I love it. I'm glad I bought it for my daughter because when she doesn't play with it, you know, I take it out and beat the crap out of it. The thing is really fast and fun. Problem uh, with that car was the motor fried and so did the, <coughs> the ESC. And uh, so that took it out of commission real quick. So I did not take out the cross member to the motor, like the whole motor mount assembly. I'm not playing with taking that out. So the other one slid out without doing that. So this one should slide back into place. Um, you are going to have to take off spur gear. And I suggest getting the metal spur gear. My uncle bought this plastic one. Um... You watch my other video on the Red Cat, you'd be like, oh, yeah, his uncle. Uh, I love the guy. He's a good guy. But he likes saving money, so he bought the plastic gear. It's not a big deal. The motor's not really powerful enough to take this gear out of commission. There it is. So I'll save this for spare parts. The case, the uh, the ring gear, and the whole differential assembly is still good in this, so I'll keep it. The only problem this has is the pinion gear. Don't throw your parts away, um, especially combo parts like this. 
because what you'll end up finding is, hey, I, I got that part right there. I'm going to take it back out of the box and get it, man. Save myself some money. Money, money, money. All right. So now we're this. you got to make sure you get the little pin. And it's drilled out in the shaft there. Pin goes back in. It's like so. Spur gear. It too is notched out. Make sure it goes together perfectly and securely. Otherwise you'll have a problem. Putting it back together. It won't sit right. It's not too much of a fight to get the spur gear back on. Just gonna make sure that pin is solid. Just like that. Now let's put it back on the car. Um, you see how the shaft is notched out flat. Uh, you make sure that's facing up so that when you push it back together, you can push the drive shaft right on and tighten it, tighten in the keeper. Ta-da! We're almost ready to race. As long as that is all legit, it should it should tighten right back up. I shouldn't have to fight with it. And I'm having a fight with it. Oh, come on. Probably could have saved myself a bunch of grief, but by taking it apart. Okay, let's turn this flat. So if you got white out or something, mark your gear at the flat uh, position of it. So just give it a little stripe. Um, that way you know that you're flat. Because right now, the problem I'm having is making sure I'm f sitting on the flat side for that keeper screw to go back on. Out. There. Alright, come on. Nice and There. Perfect. Now, tighten up the drive shaft so that we don't lose our position. Like that. There it is. And then, guys, flip it over. Put your four screws back through the bottom of your chassis. And you should have a great day in about another... 10 to 15 minutes. I could show you guys the whole rebuild of this. Um, again, I got another video there um, under Red Cat maintenance. Actually, you know what? Any Red Cat videos I do or any videos I will be doing of these repairs, I'll put maintenance. So, you know, Red Cat maintenance um, or Red Cat repair, T Max maintenance, T Max repair, whatever. So, there it is, guys. This is uh, putting in the rear diff. Now it's basically fixed. Just got to put all the other parts back to the rear end. This is RC on track. We are um, doing repairs of our vehicles on these videos so people know how to. We are posting um, videos of various cars with their upgraded stuff um, and we purchase various cars we do a lot of budget cars for families you know that are just getting into things out there so again if there's a make and model out there you're looking at and you want some questions answered message me and we can make something happen um, we are not sponsored by anybody, 
just like to get that out there right now. This is all pro bono from me and my daughter. And uh, maybe our knowledge will help you get knowledge and keep you RC in. Um, one thing I can say about the RC thing of life is people say it costs money. It, it, it costs money to get started. To keep it going, replace your parts with good parts. Don't buy the same crap parts because you'll run into the same problems. And that's the baseline to it. That's why my T-Max is going to be all alum as aluminum as I can get with the T-Max. Now, the problem with aluminum, you, you wreck hard, you, you bend parts. Uh, plastic's more forgiving, but plastic breaks. And over time, the little gouges and scuffs you get on your plastic damage it and weaken it. And then eventually, it, it just snaps. Uh, I think the aluminum will look sick. I'll probably use it more for show and tell later on down the road right now. It's just my basher. I am getting something sick. I know it. Birthday, you know. I'll post a video of that. And I guess my ultimate goal with my little shop here is get the right equipment, start cutting parts myself, buy some billet and and some plating and start making my own stuff. Other people do it. I might as well jump in on that fun too. Um, okay, so the rear end is in the car. I've been boring you guys in the conversation. If there's any questions you have, message me. Um, I can fully answer any of the questions uh, to my knowledge of this red cat. Um, it is a fun car. I'm going to keep it going um, long after they quit making parts for it eventually. That's that's another thing you'll run into out there, people, is they quit making parts. And when they quit making parts, you're stuck. So then you have to go vintage searching for stuff. And that gets a little expensive. Says the guy who bought the T Max and turned to electric and went through all that. Turning the T Max electric was fun. This little this little guy right here, I totally forgot about it. This little C clip right here. That holds your spur gear in place up against the pin. And I just did all that and forgot to put it in. Be sure to put that in before you uh, put it together or you'll run into the same grief I got right now. And that's trying to get it in without tearing everything back apart. I hope this uh, helps you guys out with um, putting in a new diff. If not, cool. If did, great. Um, so there it is. Like, share, and subscribe. Keep it going. Our next... Uh, car that we're going to be working on most likely a BR Desert Buggy um, from WL Toys. I ordered a complete brushless upgrade. New controller, new servo, new ESC, ESC and um, we're keeping it a two cell lipo because it's fast enough and we'll see how that goes as well. So yeah, I keep looking over there because I'm just thinking about the other cars. Um, we have our Horizon uh, Amped Buggy, two-wheel drive. We're going to um, be fully upgrading that. Brushless, really nice. And yeah, so there you go. RC on track.